All right, everybody. What if they can see all our funny decorations there in the Ooh. background? <laughs> we got, yeah, we're gonna have to move to the side. <laughs> Yay. It's Halloween edition. Ooh. Look. <laughs> Spooky. We have a spooky topic for you yeah. today. Long distance relationships. Ah! What are we going to talk about? Yeah. Yeah. And we, you've got some really cool earrings. Oh, yeah. Thank today. you. There. There we Hi, go. There. My hair is on the way. Pumpkins. Yay. Yeah. How'd you make those? those uh, from polymer clay. Yeah. Female yeah. clay. I made them myself. You know what? I'm going to uh, turn off the dishwasher. You think so? I don't think they can hear it. I think if it gets crazy, they can. Oh, you think so? It sometimes does. Well, yes. since we have just one room here, um, it might sometimes get, you know, a bit loud with the dishwasher. But anyway, welcome, you guys. Hey, Jennifer, thanks for joining us today. Um, here we go. Disco pumpkin there in the back. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I know, we got two disco pumpkins. We actually did not know that when we bought them. Yeah, I thought I bought like cute pumpkins that you can put the light on and it's like this yellow cozy light. Then I'm at home and I turn it on and it's like... I'm like, well, okay. Well, <laughs> that, that's all right. We like it. So, yeah, so it's good to have you here, Jonas and Lindsay. Sigmar, welcome. Um, yeah, so this Halloween Funny. edition, we're yeah. going to talk about line distance relationship in a bit. Yeah. But before that, as people get on, let's just, uh, what are we going to say? Uh, nothing. Oh, you said, know. okay. Sounded like you were about to say something. So. Oh, yeah, I've heard. Um, but as we're waiting for people to come on a little bit, then, uh, by the way, sorry that we're an hour late. We just uh, realized that we have had our winter time changed mm. here. Uh, so... If you're watching from Europe, then it's going to be the same time. But if you're watching from like the U.S., then um, this is an hour later. So it's yeah. only this week. And um, of course, you can always watch this later on YouTube uh, or on Facebook. But what did you do? Uh, what have you been up to lately? What did you do last night? Uh, last night, I actually... When I was at work. <laughs> oh, yeah. I w watched uh, Harry Potter and... Um, and uh... Rock of Wisdom, Wisdom Stone, whatever it's in English. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. And, uh, it's Visa Sten Kiwi in Finnish. But you didn't watch, you watched it in... Uh, Swedish, it's yeah. true. I wanted to practice, like I'm preparing that uh, this Christmas we'll actually talk in Swedish with your family. Because we're spending the Christmas with your family. Yes, we'll be in uh, Sweden for Christmas, but we'll be, you know, with your parents too. Of course. Yeah. So, oh, thanks, Lindsay. Glad you liked the pumpkins. So, um, how was it watching Harry Potter in Swedish? Was it weird? Was it easy, difficult? Uh, it was, um, it was fun. A bit difficult. <laughs> A bit difficult. Yeah. Did you I... understand most of it or was it? Um, I don't know. Uh, not most, but I could follow the plot. So if you say like percentage wise, how much did you understand? Boy, boy, boy. I have to say I'm not a numbers person. Oh yeah, that's so true. Fifty percent? I don't have no idea. Okay. Some. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a good way to practice Swedish, exactly. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it's great. I mean, it takes time when you listen to a foreign language to kind of get to understand, but it's um, it comes with time. That's been my experience. I've noticed. Hugely now with Cantonese, just in a few months, because I really listened so much, as much as I could. Like now I can watch uh, vlogs mm. and understand most of it. And I can like listen to podcasts and understand most of it and enjoy what, you know. Whereas a few months ago, that was pretty difficult for me. So keep going with it. But it's yeah. good. Like, it's a fun way to learn because you like yeah. Harry Potter so much. Oh, you yeah, know the plot. I hate I hate anything when it comes to like studying. Yeah, me too, actually. So I just do what's fun for me. If somebody starts starts preaching to me about you should do this, I just block my ears. Nah, I don't think yeah. that works. You have anyway. to find. No, wait, wait, that wasn't done. Oh, sorry. I just think you have to find what uh, was what's fun. 
That's the main part, because then you'll do it. And yeah. you know the story. So, <laughs> so boom. That's boom. cool. Okay, everybody who has joined now, uh, we want to welcome you. This is our Halloween episode. Woo! Mm. I'm trying again. Wait. I've been practicing this. Ooh, no, you sound good. like a cheerleader. No, I'm trying to sound spooky. Ooh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's a, that, our oh, spooky topic oh, is... Yeah, do that. Um, Long-term relationships. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, was it dubbed or subtitles to Swedish? You must be saying. Uh, it was dubbed and subtitled. Oh, you did both. Yes. I did both. But it sucked because um, the subtitles were like I watched, watched yesterday this Harry Potter in Swedish and the subtitles were basically if if Harry Potter said thanks for asking uh, I'm doing good the subtitles were like for your question I'm okay so so it was like two totally different yeah. things going on it just I couldn't follow the subtitles, I just tried to listen. I think that's better. Actually, that's better. <laughs> just to watch the dub and get as much as you can, because yeah. then you'll listen more, practice that. Uh, oh, I want to say, like, I started reading a new book yesterday, and uh, oh, I won't yeah. get into it. I won't get into it a ton, but I mm. have read about maybe a third of it, and uh, it's an amazing book. It's actually by this mm -hmm. uh, guy that I know from uh, Bethel times. He's become a really... And his wife, really successful businessman, has written a book called uh, "The Modern Day Businessman." And what I love about it is that he's it talks so much about like mm. these principles uh, that are healthy for just making us thrive in life. And he's very open with his relationship with God, you know. So if you're interested in watching like a self development book uh, that's Christian that gives a godly perspective and is about thriving and being happy. You know, mm. like really living out of your purpose mm. yeah. uh, in life from that perspective. I can really recommend it. Yeah. It's, um, I mean, I haven't read all of it. We can talk about it more some other time. But mm. uh, uh, Nicholas Bayerly, um, mo the modern day businessman. Mm. Shout out to you, bro. Good job. He's he's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be really talking about that book. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's really good. That it's is really very good. impactful. Oh, one thing more I wanted to tell before... We get into the topic. Yeah. Like, I carved yesterday my first pumpkin, and I am so excited. He's now there. He's there? Oops. <laughs> so hard to do this. It's super hard. There, and uh, feeling <laughs> very soft and refreshed. I'm going to send in to the chat the pumpkin that I carved. You guys like, send the picture. Okay. I'm going to send a picture. And, uh... Because, <laughs> uh, why did you carve a pumpkin? Uh, I actually, um, there is this co pumpkin competition. <laughs> From actually some of our viewers watching right now. Yeah. I have this awesome, Lindsay and Jonas have this awesome uh, pumpkin carving competition. Yes. yes, in Sanctuary. No, in It's a Charming Life. Yeah, Instagram, I found this. It's a Charming Life Instagram. Yeah. Follow those guys, they're amazing. They're amazing. And uh, can I drop a picture here? Uh, maybe. I don't know, actually. No. This is a finish. Yeah. Maybe you can't. I thought I could show my pumpkin, but I... Did you show a picture to the camera? Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Sorry, it's not... That won't look as good, but... <laughs> yeah. uh, here is my pumpkin. The topic was... Uh, Sleepy Hollow. Can you see connection between my, between my pumpkin and Sleepy Hollow? <laughs> <laughs> What do you think guys so basically this is my first pumpkin I carved I'm so proud of it it turned out so well it's a pumpkin with a face mask and um, towel on the topic because he's the headless horseman horseman's pumpkin head chilling after a rough rough busy night I'm like this was your idea. <laughs> that was my idea I, I'm I'm it's like that that um, book and movie is way too scary for me. Wait, I I like spooky, cute Halloween, but um, anything horror and scary, I just 
watching Back to the Future is too scary. Yeah, yeah, we're watching so. Back to the Future too, and you're like, this is too scary. Yeah. <laughs> this is too intense. So that's my... Oh, they love him. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Amazing. And Jonas is carving pumpkins as uh, is watching right now, so that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Um, so let me just open up YouTube. YouTube. There was a question we are going to answer. Yeah, it's right? pretty... It's, I think I could probably paraphrase it, but I just want to make sure that I, um, uh, make, I do it justice. Yeah. Okay. So it, it was a question about long distance relationship. S uh, <laughs> I thought we would, we would, uh, talk about. And guys, if you have any comments or questions or things, uh, that pop up, things we would like to talk about. About relationship and, anything. uh, long term. Yeah. Please let us know. Yeah. We're happy to talk about it. Okay, okay, we got uh, Dr. Medicine Man MD from YouTube. Um, oh, by the way, I just want to read this comment before we start. Yeah. <laughs> Yunus is commenting about my pumpkin. Your pumpkin is like headless horseman. Ta I need to see it. Baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Your pumpkin is like a headless horseman. Take a spa weekend, enjoying so much that he never returned as the villain he was. Yes, that's it. That was the idea, that, wasn't it? Yeah, I wanted to spoil him. I, I yeah. Um, <laughs> what are your thoughts on long distance relationships? Uh, like, if it's close enough to take a two hour flight or a weekend road trip to visit? Okay, so those, uh, that's the question. Mm -hmm. And I actually asked a follow up question um, just to make sure I get this correctly, but. Uh, which hasn't been answered yet, but that's okay because I think I understand uh, what this person means. Mm. Um, basically, surprise hug. <laughs> that's good. That's something you can't do in a long distance relationship. That's it sucks. So what are your what are our thoughts on long distance relationships? Basically, mm. like it, I'm, this is what I would think is true, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. But is it good or? bad to be in a long distance relationship There's if it's close enough to take a two-hour flight or a weekend road mm -hmm. trip to visit so in other words we're not talking living in england and the u.s or you know why not like that's because that's oh, yeah, not yeah, a yeah, two-hour flight question, in the yeah. question mm -hmm. but we could talk about that too and um who here have been in a long distance relationship by the way i, I know some people we were in long-term relationship Long term, we are in a long term relationship right now, but we were in a long distance. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we are not I'm in a long sorry, distance. Sorry, my English. We used to be in a long term, but we are in very much. Yeah, we're married for life. Yeah. So okay, yeah, we have always been in a long distance relationship, mm. and I think we have you and me have a little bit kind of different perspectives on it because it was a bit different for us at, at least i remember it pretty clearly yeah. our experience but yeah. basically Lindsay is lifting hands she's been oh welcome yes. to the club yes the sweden us yes anyone else watching who has been in a long distance relationship or if you have any thoughts on long distance relationships then uh, please let us know in the comments is that a thing to say in english welcome to the club yeah or is that like weird no because that is swedish too welcome to the club there we go. <laughs> Gerhon. Gerhon. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, we were in very much in a long distance relationship, mm. like, right away. Like, we, we went on one date on Friday, mm. and I think we decided that we were going to, well, I don't I know, we decided we were going to pursue this further uh, and see, you know, like, more than friends, basically, like, Call it dating, call it whatever we want. We didn't put that word on it, but we just basically had that talk on a Monday. That we have feelings and we want to continue. Yes. But we were not a we're not, friend and a boyfriend. No, not yet, you know, even though that's... Like, I guess that was it. Yeah. Because we could, would not have gone to a date with someone else. No, because we were an exclusive mm. relationship. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. So we decided on a Monday, and then I went to Norway on the Tuesday. <laughs> so, boom, right away, mm. I'm gone for six weeks, and we were in a long-distance relationship the mm. whole time. 
for that first part. And uh, basically only FaceTime and FaceTime audio and text messages for six weeks. Hmm. And uh, so now we could not see each other for a weekend at that time because it was too far it was like three mm -hmm. flights away yeah <laughs> <Where I was. laughs> because you lived in that even though like if, if i think you were only in norway which is the neighbor country for finland but you were living in a, such a difficult place to get yeah. middle of the mountains and fjords that it needed that three flights basically. well at least like so far away like if it was northern norway that would have been different but so basically mm -hmm. what what was it how was that season? Because we have a few different seasons of long distance relationships yeah. that we were. How was that for you? Was that was that good? Mm, what was good? What was that bad? It was uh, amazing. Very. We talked a lot all the time. All the time, like. It was good. Constantly, constantly. Some days it was all day, pretty much. I say that was good season for me. Yeah. Yeah. What was good about it? Uh, you. <laughs> That's good. I don't know. I don't understand the question. Oh, okay. Like, I mean, if we would have been in the same town, what was good about... We would have seen less, probably. We would have seen each other less if we were in the same town? Or maybe not. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Because we were really liked each other so yeah, much. Yeah, I'm obviously not giving the answer you're searching for. You have something in mind, maybe. Um, no, I just... No, what, no, What is your perspective? No, what I, is good for you? Yeah, I'm not searching for a particular answer because, you know... Mm. Uh, you know, I also don't remember so well. So I know, I know. <laughs> um, but one thing that was good, we had to work on communication. Like, that was all we had. You know, long distance relationship, what's really good, this is a big uh, pro, is that you only have hmm. communication. Like, only talking, getting to know each other, talking about Woo. all sorts of things. Itching notes. Okay. Um, that's all you have. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no... Like, you cannot cross the physical boundaries because there's, you, you can't, like, you're not in the same room. So that keeps you safe. In a way, in a lot you of ways. can call, cross boundaries by talking. You can cross boundaries by talking. That's very true. And that's not something to say that, like, it's only about like physical super, boundaries. I don't know, flirty or sexy. Yeah, like, you can definitely go there. Which is too so soon. not the part of the first phase of dating. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. No, that's a good point. Yeah. But at least you cannot cross any physical boundaries. Mm. So I'm not saying you shouldn't talk about sex at some point of your relationship before you're getting married, but it's not when you have just met. Yeah, and it needs to be done in uh, the right way. Yeah. You know, like there, as much as you can, guys, save it for marriage. Like there's, mm. you'll figure it out, and it, it's mm. much better the more you can save. We it. we saved a lot. We saved even our kiss for the yes. Outfit. So, yes, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, but it's good to decide before you get married, like what what happens on the wedding night. Like you, you need to you should buy condoms for that. It's kind of sad to realize there that you know yeah, for we example. didn't talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We if we, you want to. Yeah. Or yeah, exactly. Oh, things like that. Things like that. Yeah. Of course, 100%. it's not a must. <laughs> no, no, no. But um, yeah. Yes, like the, the condoms parts. That's if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Okay. But uh, yes. Like certain things it need to be talked about, but it needs to be done smartly, you know, the right way. Maybe like mm. one o'clock in the morning is not the right time. Yes. Laying on each other on a couch. Yeah. Like no. Yeah, we had some rules about those we things. We had some rules, yeah. Not do that. We but didn't do that, but yeah. But I we tried to give an example that was yeah. not maybe working out well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Honey, what do you think about our wedding? Oh, that's not a good conversation in the AMRs. Right, right, right. So you were <laughs> saying, don't you have to think more serious levels while being in a long distance thingy? At mm. least I think so from my perspective. It's not like you can meet up in a minute. Lots of planning and thinking involved. Oh, yeah, when you're meeting up. So you are you mm. saying you know, that you mean that when you're in a long distance relationship, it's automatically has to be more serious? Is that what you mean? Let, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I think that's what you're mm. saying. I, I think that's very true. Like if... Like, mm. you cannot be in, like, a casual relationship if it's long distance. Not that you should be in a casual relationship anyway, but everybody has... Mm, there is that season of getting to know each other and, like, you're feeling out whether this is right or not. Like, for some people, that might be a longer season. For some, it's short. 
for us it was very short um when we figured out like okay we believe this is like we're, we're moving towards marriage like that that was very quick we're within a few weeks well we because we both were dating to get married that was yeah, like that was the reason if i can see myself marrying this person i'm not going to waste this person's time exactly mm. Exactly, but like if you also if you can't meet up in a minute, like it's nope. uh, it makes it. I guess it makes it more intense in a way. Mm. Like for us, I think it actually made our relationship move quicker because we talked through so many things, and in just like two and a half months, we've gone through the whole like uh, falling in love phase, and after yeah. that is when the reality you bought a kicked ring. in. Um, I did not oh. buy a ring in that phase. You in, bought the, a... in the falling in love phase. I did no, not. no, 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 no. You didn't, but you. Oh yeah, you're talking about faith, but two point three months or uh, yeah, two and a half months. Two and but a half I think months. it was one and a half months that we were just like in us falling in love face. Yeah, so. very very pink glasses. Mm, I could not see anything negative about you, and probably you. Yeah, didn't exactly. Me neither. Yeah. Exactly, but after when my Norway season came to halt, we mm. be, both of us felt a shift. I think in the last few days, yeah, when it was more getting to what we call the realistic stage, when you start seeing. You know certain flaws and things come up you know and uh for some people this takes longer like we yeah. were very intense so it, these phases came really quick yeah and it for could some, be yeah it could be that we were so ready and there mm. was also our personalities it could be so many things that yeah. makes so. um yeah you want to say I, I think that you don't take a chance in the same way if it requires a lot of long flights just to meet up yes that is very true mm. like it takes more of a risk like if you're like uh dr medicine man was saying if mm. it's like a two-hour flight you have to go for like a weekend then uh it's it requires more planning mm. you know and i remember like first time i went to finland you know we had to figure out where am i gonna stay you know so i ended up staying with some friends yeah because i i didn't live with my parents yeah you live by yourself you know yeah. we didn't feel good about like me living there you know mm. of course um, and we also wanted to show our family and friends that we are living pure. Um, yeah. That do, like okay. highlight that so they they don't need to feel uncomfortable. We wanted to respect everyone. That was part of it. I think that's a good point. Actually, yeah. that was part of it. Um, so yes, so you, those sort of things you need to take into consideration. You know, like when you um, because they didn't know you, and I, I wanted everyone to respect you too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I wanted to do things right, you mm. know. And I even was in communication with your parents before I even met them, you know, yeah. just through text message. Mm. Um, so yeah, so we, but we were in a. After that, we were, you know, I was also in Norway mm. two more times, for like five times each before we got engaged. And um, other than that, I was. You know, in my hometown, which is only four hours from your hometown. Mm -hmm. So, during those times, then I could, you know, um, drive. Come to Finland. Drive uh, to or see I you. could drive to You could drive to see you. me and, you know, uh, so that was good. Um, and it was like, yeah, my parents live in the same time, lived in the same time as me. So, it was easy. You could either, like, stay in my apartment and I stayed with them mm -hmm. or Yeah, that's vice versa. Our, our story, yeah. But what do you think? Is it good or bad? long-term relationship is is it like i think the question is about that yes this is good this is where yeah. we're coming to right now um yeah. well i have heard from some like guy friends of mine saying like uh that something did not work out with a girl like they didn't take it for it because the girl did not want to be in a long distance relationship that's why it didn't work out what do you have what do you think about that do you think that's true is that something that girls in general don't want to do Long-term relationships? Long distance. Long, not long-term. I'm so sorry, people. I just sometimes don't... <laughs> I don't, don't mean to be that guy, but I am that guy today. <laughs> don't hear when I sometimes say words wrong. That's, I don't know why. Well, that's okay. But you guys know what, what we're talking yeah, about. Well, mm, Long-distance relationship. Uh, I think there is... It's actually more about personality type. You think so? Yeah, I've read that yellow people are most tend to end up yellow personality type mm -hmm. certain personality type um they are most it's the i in disc if you've ever done that it's a certain type of yeah. personality type that heta is definitely and i am too actually mm -hmm. uh very outgoing kind of inf like just you know artsy and kind of 
dreams a lot, is optimistic. Everything will like, you know, work out itself. Basically like grab me that microphone, those types of people. Yeah, I can be on the stage and talk like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, they are most tend to end up in a long-term relationship. They are. Yeah. They are more likely to end up in a long-term, long-distance relationship than uh, like, like other people that are more maybe like people that are like blue personalities, which would be the more conscientious, more kind of but, well, I think meticulous who, by the book. Yeah, who read like, uh, I know long-term relationships might not so, last. So if you have that kind of person type, it might be that you don't even like end up in that situation. So you, they are not as likely. No. Why? I don't know. I just remember because oh, it was about me to yellow. So I remember You just that. read the yellow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. You was ask yellow personality. Yeah, it's the the disc. If you heard of that, it's a personality test. Test. So yellow, blue, green, red. Uh, I have a book recommendation. But you guys are orange personalities. We're pumpkin people, so to speak. That's cool. Orange is a combination of yellow and red. So that means there's some like feist in there. The red. Uh, there's this book about these personality types. It's like the idiots around me or something. Is it's, that the one? Yeah. Idiots around me. Idiots around me. Oh, maybe I should read that. Then. It's amazing because it helps you to like understand other personal types, and it yeah. helped me to understand why some people are so different. And I'm like, yeah. wow. And I recognized myself from that book too. Oh, I've seen that in Finnish. Maybe and I'll now I know it. why I can hold, uh, handle criticism, for example, very well because I hear it very differently than the person who was saying it. Like if oh. a blue person criticizes me, I receive it very differently. My mom is blue, so when she like now I'm like ah, and she also gets why I don't get it. Which oh, is like, it was like um, fireworks in my head. I... Yeah, you want to see? We must take the color test. I'm curious. Yeah, that'd be yeah. interesting. There, you can do some free stuff online. I haven't done it for many, many, many years. Uh. Um, but you can do it. It's like D I S C. Disc is one, and mm -hmm. I don't know what. Well, the book I just read the book. I know it's online too. And you can yeah. read the book or you can take the test. Yeah. Um, and there I just read the descriptions. I didn't do it a test. I just like recognized myself. Do you agree on your color? Is it accurate? Oh yeah. For 100, you. 100% I'm the like 100% yellow. Are you like 100% yellow and nothing else? Pretty much? Yeah. Pretty much it's actually. It's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny, man. Yeah. I, I remember. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know what I was going to say. Whatever. Like. I'm also the highest on yellow, but I am pretty high on blue, which is more like calculated, you know, plan things, detail, and I'm quite high. I actually, they're all quite high for me, but yellow is definitely the highest, and then it comes mm. like green, right? So, um, but maybe I need to do it again. Maybe I've changed a little bit because I'm more living out of who I am more now than I was like 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you know is that you're a yellow Hufflepuff. I don't even know what a Hufflepuff is, but that sounds like you. It's a Harry Potter color. Oh, yeah. okay. Harry Potter thing. So is it a good thing to be like... So when oh, those girls... Do, do you think when a girl says like, I don't want to be in a long distance relationship, is it that... I'm always thinking that it's... Well, they're just not interested enough. Because if they were, then it would not matter what country or the distance would not matter. Sounds accurate to me. I'm like surprised. Why wouldn't a girl want to be in a long term, long distance relationship? Yeah, I, I think it was harder for you though. I remember being mm -hmm. in a long distance relationship than it was for me. Like you, it was very important that we saw each other as often as possible. Yeah. And for me, that was very important. But I think I sometimes was fun, fine if it was like a certain weekend. We didn't, you know, but mm. for you, that was a lot harder. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and I had a little bit of a hard time understanding that, So, but I was I had, was talking to a mentor of mine, which is saying, no, it's really important that you see each other, you know, especially for her. So I was like, okay, that's just something that True. Do you she talk needs. about when I lived already in Rovaniemi? Like later places? Uh, that too, I when think. When we were engaged. When we were engaged, but we were pretty lucky because, okay, so you lived three hours away, and my schedule was that I had i worked a lot for two weeks and then i had a week off mm. like every three weeks yeah. which gave a lot of freedom i think no i sorry. could come and visit mm. i think we could try to also see the situation from someone who's living further away that you actually need a flight yes so this might be 
how more people are like what kind of relationship most people are having if they like, are having long distance relationships. exactly because because it was a, a challenging for us at times but i think it also helped us like get married quicker because they're like oh yeah. weird. Hey, it sucks to be away from each other well it just means that we need to get married so yeah now... i would not see why to move on the same same town but not to get like married i don't think so no yeah 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 I, but i would if somebody wants to date for five years i'm like oh my gosh yeah i mean <laughs> i i guess they can i'm sure there can be circumstances where yeah. that actually yeah, 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 if you're very young or or just there can always can be something. There can but, be things, but, but in general, in general, yeah. in general, I don't think that is healthy. Like it's to drag it out too long. I don't think that's healthy at all. No, no, no. Like we would have waited two years instead of one year would have not been good for us. Mm. Would have been I'm not saying it would have destroyed everything, but just unnecessary pain. And, unnecessary pain, yeah, <laughs> and uh, all sorts of other things. Mm. So, yeah, is it good or bad? Like, I, I think it's totally, totally fine. Uh, and there are, like, pros, like we said. You have to work on communication, uh, physical boundaries. You know, you don't have to think about. Uh, although, when you do see each other, mm -hmm. it might, you might have to think about it more because you might spend more time together. So Yeah, you're, like, day and night together if you go to... Not school. night. No, but no, but I mean that uh, it's not that you have an occasional coffee date somewhere, yes. but you you maybe come to that person's parents or something, and you are, like, from morning until 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, so, yeah, so that's uh, important. And also, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, that's something that's a yeah it just takes a bit more planning yeah but i would definitely say it's not a bad thing i would encourage people to be in long distance relationship you that's would. amazing you found someone who's not close to you like what what does it's not a bad it's thing it's good it's uh it's actually recommended okay don't judge me <laughs> but it's uh, recommended to get blood from further like it's healthy for your children right, here we go. instead of like marrying in the same small town <laughs> I, i've heard this is he healthy and good when it comes to genes yeah i've heard that too yeah and i don't you know i i'm just like uh, kind of in a humor way mm -hmm. encouraging for a long distance relationship i yeah. i think it's uh it can be a blessing it's hard it, it can be also hard when you can't see each other and then when you see each other after one or two months or even longer it's actually like last time you were so oh we're so connected then you see each other and it feels difficult to that see. was for you it was like yeah. oh i'm so happy to see you and you would be like i was like don't kept hug me yet. <laughs> kept the, yeah you kept the yeah. distance and I, you had to warm up to me being in the same room yeah it took a few hours yeah but you would always warm up but it was like for me that was a bit like wow going on here but it was just like it felt very sensitive and vulnerable like what was vulnerable and sensitive about it as a woman well being it's very vulnerable to be in a relationship and, and it, like open it just felt different it felt difficult oh and it felt yeah. different being in the same room and stuff but... yeah then just talking and texting it's very different and then when you're together but it I slowly like always warmed warmed up. Yes, you did. Yeah, but I, and I was okay. I was like, all right. Well, I think uh, as a man, I was like, well, I'm just gonna have to win her over. You know, <laughs> yeah, we, we like that stuff. Then you were spoiling me, making amazing food, and yeah. Yeah, that's and that's all you need. Yeah. Um, maybe in the future we'll marry people from other planets. Uh -huh. no, well. Could be true because uh, if that uh, well, Elon Musk success succeeds with his Mars mission, then maybe people <laughs> will start getting bored on Mars, and we'll actually, you know, you could be marrying a Martian in the future. Uh, I, oh, Lindsay's saying I totally remember how it felt to warm up again to see Elon in person. It's a weird phenomenon. Okay, so this is not just Heta. Yeah. Lindsay also felt the same thing. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's good. If you're watching, you're in the line of this relationship. If you're the guy, like just. You just expect that to even if you are like ah hey so good to see you if she needs time to warm up that's totally fine and normal 
Yeah. And if you're a woman, it's then... not a reason to break up. It's not nothing that this isn't true or real or I don't my feelings. Maybe I've lost them. No, it's just like yeah. It's 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 like it's very healthy too. Yeah, healthy. Yeah. Yeah. That you don't give away your heart like yes. too easy. Yeah, it's but it's good feeling when a man is pursuing after your heart. Like, is it like almost? I don't know. You can also answer Lindsay or anyone watching her, but mm. it's kind of like you're seeing the person you love, but you're also feeling like you're seeing a stranger at the same time. Is it that feeling a little bit? Mm. Hmm. Or it's well, I would have described that it just felt a little bit confusing and a little bit like oh. weird and like. Oh, this was how you smelled, and and like oh. all this. I'm super. I have super sensitive like um, senses, so everything oh. was like, like I, yeah, like yeah. This is how your vibe feels. This is how your like. Oh. You lived in different country. There was also different atmosphere in the different country. Everything was like. Yeah, for me, I was like, wow, she's even more beautiful in real life than on FaceTime, you know, so for me, it was just like, even better. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. I think as men, you know, we're yeah. supposed to be pursuers and here's a great opportunity to just make the woman feel safe and comfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And something to encourage men about the pursuer. This okay, is yeah. a bit off topic. That's okay. But like... A message I've sometimes heard from my girlfriends, like when a guy has asked them out or or something, and they mm. haven't been completely sure, or they just have felt that that they, they've said no. And then I have asked asked about it, and we have had a conversation, and they're like, they're like, they could maybe see themselves later to do that. But usually, like, the guy doesn't ask again. And I'm not saying this is just, like, guys' fault that they don't go after it. But I just said, girls really appreciate, like, men that pursue them, really. Like, but it, I understand as a man, it's rejection, it hurts, and it's awful. It hum might feel humiliating, hurts, everything. And they might say no after t every time and never, that might never happen. So you're saying that uh, even if the girl says, you know, I'm not interested right now, then that means that they might be later. So they are, are they like testing the guy, whether he's really serious or is no, it No, but timing? it might warm their, like open oh. something, their eyes that this man is a real man. Like he's a real hero. He, if he does what? If he asks again. Okay. Then there's healthy, like, okay, this girl really don't want want, want me to do this. She's see, getting really uncomfortable. See, I think that's the thing also because uh, yeah. as men, we don't want to be, be stalkers. Yeah. At least I hope you don't. Um, so what's the difference there but between being persistent and not being a stalker? Because it's also not cool if mm. if the girl's like, well, like, he doesn't take no for an answer, you know, like. Well, I think the way how you ask okay like yeah yeah how would what would be the best thing for a guy to say if the girls say like no i'm not interested in going on a date and the guys you know what what could he say then to kind of show that he's still interested uh just be kind and not at least ghost or start acting weird in church meetings like staying somewhere or doing something so you just stay weird. the same but stay the same like that's not awkward that just shows like, hey, I, I really think you're great. I'd love to go out with you. Like, And if the girl says no, then later. I think if you want to ask again, then that's like, like, hey, just so you know, I uh, I would still lo love to go out with you if you have changed your mind. And yeah, and not like, not like, um, how, how would you say, like, not like, like, like I asked you out. Yeah. You, you felt very free about it. You didn't feel uncomfortable. Or no, I felt like needy. No, I didn't feel needy because if I would have felt that, then chances are I would have said no. If it would have felt like super mm. needy, um, because then I feel it's, it wasn't about me. Mm. You wanted to ask me out. It was more about you needing to heal some wound, and it had nothing to do with me, mm. which I think neediness is about. Um. But I also think, like, if someone is, um, 
like oh if someone mm-hmm. if someone is like okay you they say no and then the guy's like okay that's fine like that can also be attractive yeah because if you get like too crushy and careful much and then it can also show neediness and then the girl does definitely not want to go yeah go yeah out. yeah because it actually and if you ask someone out and you get all broken and all like your life stops yeah it's a I've been sign there. I've you've been, been there. there it's a sign that uh, uh, maybe something maybe you have a some kind of a wound in your heart rejection issue something that should be healed yeah because yeah 100%, because, 100%. Because, yeah because it's very it's somehow i don't know why but it's very attractive for men and women both when someone is super healthy in their heart and like doesn't like okay i'm 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 so like Fine, you're not going out with you, but I think you're cool. I I think you're amazing. Yeah, I got, I think if and I only want the best, and you seem to be a, like a, that kind of a person that I like didn't want to miss the chance by not to ask. Yeah, and if for example, I think that was also something. If I mm-hmm. would have felt like you, if if I said no and you're like okay, that's fine, mm-hmm. and you just sort of moved on. That would have also, um, I mean that part of that was the feeling of well that could happen mm. that you would do that so why not take this excuse me opportunity mm. but um yeah um you and us are saying yes means no and blue means red etc yeah, yeah women this is, sometimes this we is, say things like that i think I at least i say things like that seems like maybe Lindsay too i don't know right but i it's this is where it gets it could get a little bit confusing because we're kind of contradicting ourselves right now. Mm-hmm. It might sound like if you're listening to this, you're like, okay, so you're saying that I shouldn't take no for an answer, but at the same time, you should respect the no. And I think mm. um, it's man, there is no right or wrong necessarily. You kind of from situation to situation, like. Um, I guess it's also how the woman says no, but that's that's tough to read. But if, if, as long as you do things respectfully, if you ask one more time, like it's totally fine. Uh, then, if they say no two times, then I'd say move on for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I can't and wait I, around forever. Yeah, can I say if they're or do you want to? No, no, it? I'm good. Uh, if a girl says, "I'm I have a boyfriend," no. Don't ask, don't ask again. That's a for Yeah, sure. and um, like What's I don't, I don't even say like read the note. That gets super. I would not recommend to try to read between the lines. Yeah, I just it's true. It gets super like over analyzing. Yeah, I would say, but I would rather just like be a uh, be brave. Do be brave, like in a way that. Um, Mm. yeah this is tough you gotta follow your heart you know and as long as you do it healthily you know it's yeah and um and maybe don't ask next day but like if you still feel the same way on a valentine's day or something yeah because i know those Mm. people where the guy the girl said no and the guy Mm. just kept persistent and didn't pressure push but kept pursuing and it's they're married now, mm. so... And I think... It sorry. can work. Yeah, and I think um, also that there is the, that the, the man proves for the women what a man he is by, like, staying, like, doing these... How would you say that, like, a man is a real man? What is that? How he shows that to a woman? He shows that he's a um, man of his word. Yes. He doesn't start threatening the girl or be trying to push or or start avoiding or like yeah i guess being consistent like mm, he loyal. is he's always who he is mm. no matter what you mm. know and uh serve the lord that doesn't mean that you can't be disappointed or they have mm. to hide that you know but yeah yeah absolutely um do you think just going back to the long distance relationship do you think that yeah. makes Ooh. relationships more like it speeds things up or it drags it out or it has it no impact on like let's say you like from dating engagement 
marriage? Mm, I would say it either speeds things up or has no impact. Yeah, I mean, it could be someone's long distance relationship, maybe talk like once a week. That sounds like a very slow moving relationships. Yeah. I've heard of those. Yeah. And uh, I think you, yeah. It's hard for me to imagine because if you're really fall in love, you're going to want to talk to that person every day. But I guess like you kind of have to talk more often because uh, it's easier to have connection mm-hmm. when you're in the same room, when you're sitting across mm-hmm. each other at a table looking into each other's eyes. It's mm-hmm. easier. So maybe then you wouldn't have to see each other every day. But if you're in long distance, you might mm-hmm. need to just talk more often. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, I don't know because I haven't, that's the only way we've done it. We don't know anything else. Mm. Yeah. Just, you know, we're in long distance until we got married. So. Yeah, and I don't see there's a problem. I know couples that uh, the girl was in um, Hawaii and the boy was in, uh, in Scandinavia. Well, that's and pretty far. they are my favorite couple there, like this celebrities christian celebrities yeah. they have the sweetest like uh relationship yeah. yeah that's yeah that's awesome so do we do you guys have any more questions uh do you have any thoughts any questions about um long distance relationship mm. before we wrap this up um thanks dr medicine man for asking this question yeah started uh, all kind of like, Went to um, all sorts of rabbit trails. Yeah, or about dating, especially. Um, uh, something I want to add. Long-term marriage, what do you think? No, 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 I mean <laughs> long-distance marriage. Long-distance marriage? L- sounds not fun. Yeah, don't do it. Uh, you know, no. I can't think of a... I think... I mean, it could happen, like, people are going to, you know... Uh, going to war like a soldier so do service and they're in long distance marriages mm. and, um i know people have a, it's mm. it sounds very tough i don't want to do it myself but yeah i know people do that but i think god recommends to stay close to your spouse yeah you know and there, there might be a certain grace for a season for mm. things you know who am i to say mm. that mm. but if you can avoid it i would definitely recommend that yeah, for sure. Yeah. Jonas is asking, do you think you guys are good listeners since you had to do the whole long distance thing to get to know ha, each ha, other? Ha. That did not help with that, I have to I say. I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. We've been practicing listening skills later. Yeah. And not with each other. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing so hard. We have not practiced it with each other. Well, well we have to practice well, it. Well, of course we have to practice and sometimes we give feedback to each other i didn't i don't feel very heard and then we just both realize we are trying to talk what we want to say to each other without listening what the other is saying yeah exactly and sometimes you can even see it during our lives here you know like we're working on it <laughs> yeah but yeah. we did something so oh yeah i want to say something you know then yeah and uh, we have that style of kind of just um something comes to mind and say it right away a lot of times mm-hmm. so but, yeah. So you get to actually see see that live also as we're, mm-hmm. you know, learning that. Learning that, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. sometimes uh, after one of these weekends, ah, I felt like I didn't get to say what I wanted to or whatever. You might yeah. feel the same, and but we just talk yeah. about it then and practice listening. But, yeah. um, so got good yeah. listeners. since a whole long distance thing. I I would say. Don't, I don't know if it helped. <laughs> Did you want to say no, I'm sorry, this I interrupted you. This is me as a listener. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. Anyway, I think what was good for my listening skills was uh, when I worked as a language teacher. Very much. Because my job is to encourage other people to talk and then listen to them. <laughs> yeah. It was... I actually really enjoyed that because it was such a like school for me mm-hmm. because I want to be a good listener but it's surprisingly difficult because I found myself very often when someone should talk you or someone anyone uh, friend or family member or anyone I when people start to talk to me I right away try to give them advices I, I just try to tell like and suddenly it's me talking 
Yeah. And I'm like, ah, I just want to, this person pro just wants to be heard, probably. Yeah. That's such a hard thing. I think we all have tendency to start giving people advices when we should just listen. That's one thing, you know, mm -hmm. trying to not give advice. Uh, I think it's more about those things. That's helped me at least, or not feeling like I need to say mm. my opinion about something. If I'm asking something, and if it's something, maybe we have different views on someone, completely different views, and actually be able to ask certain questions and let them talk. And even if you feel like, oh, I completely disagree, um, like you don't have to say what you think you know if mm. that person is not asking you for your opinion then um probably they're not going to listen they might not be they might not want to know um so but you, you can just you know of course sometimes still say what you feel oh yeah but um like those things i guess the more we let go of our agenda and control the better listeners we become oh, it's a hard school it is you know yeah. we're both working on it oh, mm. I, i'm definitely you know Mm. That. so so yeah um i guess it's a wrap i guess it's a wrap do you have anything else high five high five <laughs> good job on the long distance relationship you did yeah. good you we did, did good. good yeah so i hope that was helpful for you who asked the question and anybody watching who might be thinking about this dealing with this and uh, please comment uh, here i'll comment on youtube uh, i'll read the comments um, that you guys put up this video will be up in 24 hours so much love to you guys much love to you god bless y'all and happy halloween yeah Woo yes thank you it's always so fun to chat with you guys too Lindsay. so good thanks for all your input and everything so fun <laughs> bye bye bye